Hey y'all, it's Randy the Mobile Traveler, Saturday Night Live, nobody here yet, but I'm going to talk to myself, say self, Saturday night, wonderful day in the neighborhood, and uh, we're in, uh, somewhere in Nebraska, I'm not so sure. Hey John, how you doing, buddy? Ramblin' Rome, Eileen, how you doing? Marilyn Monroe, hi. Glad you guys could join me. Hey Jason, going good, brother. I'm wearing my spectacles tonight, so maybe I could uh, do some reading. Hey Bernie B, how you doing? Uh, it's going good, Nomadic Pioneer. How you doing? Mike, Pam, hello. We, uh, I guess I need a shave, don't I? Hey, Penny. Lynn. Good evening, everybody. Rudy. Man, Mountain Lady, Franklin, North Carolina. Weedy Garden, how you doing? Thank you, Nana. Hello, Brenda. You know, like I said, I'm in Nebraska right now. I have no idea where, but... I'll figure that out. You know, like I said in that last video, sometimes I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Anyway, I really don't have a topic tonight to talk about. So we're just going to kind of shoot from the hip, and you guys can ask me questions. Uh, there is one thing I want to talk about a little bit, though. A while back, Somebody had asked me what channels I watch. And I watch a plethora. Plethora of channels. Hey, Firecracker. Uh, but I think what I'm going to start doing on Saturday nights is I'm going to give a shout out to, to one or two of the channels that I watch. And uh, I, I think you guys will like that. Anyway... The first one that I'm going to talk about, yeah, hey Rudy, Tuesdays I might fry a Twinkie. Yeah, Tuesdays I cook, remember that now. <laughs> yeah, John, plethora, that is a big word. That's right. Ah, uh, rambling road, need to get that service fixed. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I had coffee in it. <laughs> hey, Backwoodsman. All right, the first channel I want to talk about is uh, a gentleman by the name of Neil. He has uh, Teardrop RV Travels. He's a, uh, he's a good man. You guys need to check him out. I don't want to say he's handicapped because that's the far cry from handicapped. That man can do everything I can do and I I got all my limbs. Uh, he is an inspiration. Oh, cool, Ramblin' Roan. I wish I was by a lake right now. I'd be swimming. She's hot right now. Um... Anyway, check out Neil. That's right. He's a fellow martial artist. Uh, Rudy. Uh, it, it, the man has no limits. I am getting bit up right now for some reason. Excuse me when I, I scratch my back here. Uh, yeah, Neil's a good guy. We, uh, we built beds together. Built out a few vans together. Uh... Yep, Teardrop RV Travels. Anyway, y'all go check him out if you haven't already. Uh, matter of fact, the new logo that I use, the one that has the cactus with the saw and the hammer on it, Neil made that for me. Just out of the blue, I get a text one day, and he says, Hey, Randy, I was thinking about you, and I remember the cactus on the back of your uh, camper. He says use this 
if you'd like. And by God, I do. Anyway, uh, the next one I want to talk about is Zen Quest Journey. Tina. Uh, she is hard to hard to explain, <laughs> but she has a is a small channel like mine. She's a funny gal. Tells it like it is, <laughs> with a lot of humor and a lot of good messages. So, y'all check that out. Uh, plan on selling decals or anything, Jason? I I don't know. Yeah, you know I do have. Uh, I was thinking about stickers. Yeah, I was thinking about stickers. I've got a few logos that uh, I wrote. You know, I made. Uh, maybe the one that Neil made and my youngest son actually made one for me too he's 13 years old and he is a whiz at computers and you'll probably see that as my banner here shortly as soon as he gets it to me but as you can see I'm inside the clam it's a nice day I'm gonna take these glasses off it's kinda funky if I can't read then I'll put them back on. But, hey, you know, it's heck to get old. Uh, temperature? It's just muggy. It, it's not very hot here, Rudy. I don't know, maybe high 70s, low 80s? Yeah, that's right, Sandra. And these two people here are real. Just as real as, as I'm sitting here. Uh, <laughs> You're right, Ramblin' Rome, I cut my hair. I got tired of the uh, the bozo thing coming out of my my uh, my hat. Oh, really, Jason? That's, uh, that's a special gift there, doing tattoos. Keto in Hawaii, well, aloha to you, too. Uh, now... Well, yeah, I can be vain. I didn't. I, I had to cut my hair. It was too hot. So I'm not vain, Eileen. I'm far from it. Far from it. Look at me. I don't shave. I don't do nothing. You know. Anyway. Yeah, I. It, I won't take off my hat because I think I went a little bit too short. But you guys. Well, hello, Toby. How are you? Oh, look at that. Who's peeking in here? Hello. Look at that. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. You got a little special guest appearance there. Not that special. Oh, yes. Very special. The queen of the bottom of YouTube. That's right. That's right, Mike. Uh, yeah. I'm hanging out with so. Carolyn and Mike right now. Everybody's saying hello, Carolyn. She uh, had to pop in for a minute. Yes, I got a haircut. I did. I had to. It, it was too hot. You know, I tell you what, I took off about, uh, oh, probably about three inches. And, uh, oh, it was long. I couldn't do a thing with it. <laughs> oh, listen to me. <coughs> I know, Eileen. It was great. You, uh, you just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. You keep that triple dog dare you stuff away from me. Because you know I'll do it. Oh. Well, hi, Nancy. Yeah. She's saying hello to everybody there, Mike. I got Mike helping me read uh, comments. Just in case I miss one, he'll he'll kick me in the back end here because I I do miss comments every now and then. Well, thank you, Cat. Well, hi, Janice. I uh, didn't get a chance to uh, advertise this live stream like I wanted because I was in the I was driving 
So, you know, normally I give you all a heads up, but I did not have a chance to do that today because I was in the car. So, um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, you're talking about the channels that I watch. And of course, you all know I watch Carolyn. Uh, but those two are the ones that I want to that I wanted to touch on today that Zen quest journey with Tina and then Neil with the teardrop RV travels channels oh well thank you Janice we uh, I definitely appreciate it it's good to see uh, see y'all here we uh, Let's see. Oh, give me a question, guys. Let me talk about something else. Because I'm kind of rambling. It, yeah, Janice. Mike, he's a sneaky devil, isn't he? <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm buffering right now? Janice? Huh. Yeah, the, the truck's doing fine, Penny. As well as the camper. Everything's holding. Yes, Ace of Super Dogs, okay, Rudy. He's snoozing right now. I um try to figure out why I'm buffering here, and I don't understand it. Good here. Uh, Mike says it's good on his end. Jason, good there, okay. Cause it's uh it's showing me I got uh, good bars. Everything else. Yes, Zen Quest Journey. Jimmy Rants, thank you. Yeah, I, I figured out why I was buffering last time so bad. And that one was me, and I got to apologize. Uh, I used straight talk. And <laughs> Mike informed me that I was probably out of uh, data. And that's exactly right. So, well, Rambler Rome you need to get that channel going because I believe it would be a hit after getting to meet you I think that oh that guy's going like a bat out of HE double toothpicks in a park no less anyway um yeah Eileen you should do something with your channel because uh, I'd watch you I'm sure a lot of other people will <laughs> what do you mean the wheel Janice I'm not following you anyway I gotta sit back here so let me grab my phone oh a little bit gotta do some relaxing hard on an old man oh let's see let's see yeah, I'm just rambling along, backwoodsman. Because nobody will ask me a question. I depend on you guys. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, the uh, somebody asked me about the truck. Penny did. Uh, truck's running okay. I had a little problem last weekend overheating and everything, and she's running good now. The uh, camper itself, the the works the work that I did on it it is excellent hasn't moved Jason how old am I I have celebrated my 25th birthday for the 25th time let's put it that way yeah <laughs> I am I'm 53 years old that's how old I am uh, I guess you could say old enough to know better and young enough to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, back was it? Yes, I'm. I'm old enough to drink. How old is the camper? Okay, that's 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 a good thing there. Actually, that camper is a 1972. 
its manufacture date is actually the same date as my birth date is. So it is exactly, oh, what? It, I can't even do math, eight years younger than me. Yeah, I had, I had to think about that one for a minute, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a pup. Okay, I like that. Uh, backwoods moon. You know, one of these days, I will do some of that pallet work. That's in the works. Uh, I just got to find some pallets and get to somewhere, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, backwoodsman, you're, you're five days before my birthday? Cool. It's a good month then, huh? We, uh, you know, as Virgos, we got to stick together, I guess. I have no idea what the astrological sign means, but I just felt like saying it. Uh, what kind of solar do I have? You're going to laugh at this one. I don't have any solar. Well, I take it back. I got 10 whole watts. I got a uh, solar uh, maintainer is all I have for my batteries. And that's it. It seems to work. That's right, Jimmy. Okay, yeah, Virgo means I'm cool. I'll go with that one. <laughs> well, thanks, Ramblin'. Uh, Let's see, who asked, let's see, what was this question? Open Road 2020, Dane and Rick. What is the hardest thing about being on the road? Okay, I'm gonna think about that one for a minute and then I'll get back to you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you, you're a jerk, Jimmy? Yeah, probably not. I don't hold a lot of weight to the to those astrological signs. Me, myself, I don't know. Uh, Jason, my favorite campsite is Ehrenberg, Arizona. I got it. I got it. I like that place because I got the river right there on one side and little inlets on the other. A lot of good, lot of good memories there. Uh, yeah, Mike says that's where I met him, so yeah, that's <laughs> got to be a good place. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, Marilyn Monroe, your birthday's on Thanksgiving this year. And what do I do for Thanksgiving? Uh, cook. Yeah, cook. You know, I spend it with family, but last year since I got out on the road, uh, these guys are my family. So Thanksgiving and Christmas, I was I was with them. And it, ooh, I'm a little shaky, sorry. Uh, it was no different. It was a great time. Well, hi, Tina. Uh, how many months is comfortable? You know what? Arizona, I would say comfortably. Let's see. Maybe five months, probably comfortable. That that would work for me. You know, I don't. I wouldn't want to stick around much longer than. Well, March, I guess I was in higher elevations. I was at the uh, crack of Wet Beaver Creek last March. Is that right, Mike? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and it was it was very comfortable no, there. April. Was it April? April, yeah. Oh. Before my son's wedding. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jimmy, I'll tell you what. Colorado weather, that's all right. Oh, let's see. Yeah, read that comment, the last one there, Mike. That's it. Martin, good job, Martin. Go. Yeah, he said, good job. In a Kia Soul. I'll tell you, that's that's a tight fit there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rudy CVK is not here with me now. He might be watching, but I think he's probably busy working on his, uh, you know, uh, rig. Um, let's see the hard, I'm going to try to think about the hardest thing there is about living on the road 
and I, I really can't think about a hard thing. Um, wow, that's a tough question. What's that, Mike? That's a tough question. It, it is a tough question. You know, actually, it depends upon the day. Um, some days it might be finding propane. Use that as an example because I really never have a problem finding propane. Uh, the weather. The weather is probably the hardest thing so far uh, for me. And being in a truck camper, it's actually pretty good because I do have a little bit of room in there. Uh, we set up the clam because we're expecting some rain. And we still wanted to be outside. And this thing has a lot of room in it. So, uh, but, yeah, it's the weather's the hardest thing for being on the road for me. That's, yeah, hands down. Hope that answers your question. G20. Uh, is, that a, is that a pickup mic or what is that? Let's see. Uh, Eden, now what is a G20? Is that a van or? A good place to start. Should I wait until Bob Wells has his caravans? You know, that's up to you. Uh, I would say a good place to start would be uh, Enigmatic Nomadic's van building in uh, Parker in November. What? The 23rd. Yeah, the 1st through the 23rd of November. If you need any work done on it, you can get it done. But it's a good place to meet people. So, well, hey, Alan. You're from Hawaii? That's a good place to be. Uh, John, okay, three-quarter ton. Okay, that's a G20. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, Jimmy. Uh... Alan, Oahu, Honolulu. I haven't been there since I was uh, 29 years old. So it's been a few years. I love Hawaii, I gotta tell you. Love it. <laughs> Carolyn's gonna have me on the keto diet. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna hold tight with my, uh, my, my potatoes and breads and all that kind of stuff because that's what I was raised on that's right and Mike says she's been working on him and she ain't she ain't made it oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah he's still doing the cards <laughs> anyway yeah, fluid carbs he says let's see Uh, yeah, Hawaii's kind of spendy. There you go. That's right, John. Spam. Because you know there's all kinds of different spams. Um, now, Sherry, you said it really helps with your MS system or symptoms, the keto diet? Oh, well, uh, maybe I better look into it then. I, uh, because, yeah, you know I got MS also but I don't know what my diet is but anyway I guess I'm gonna have to talk to Carolyn about that yep. but I just like the carbs too much <laughs> so uh, so yeah that's the way I look at it there John the first three letters is die yeah I love radishes I do love radishes uh, yeah I think she's pretty pretty versed on the uh, keto diet okay now well my my uh, things aren't scrolling here so I gotta set you down and figure it out why Hang on. Do not know why they're not scrolling here, Mike. Not scroll? 
No, they're not scrolling. I have had a radish sandwich before, John. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, the TCF was fun, wasn't it, Craig? I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's just disappearing on me now. No, Cheryl, I, I tell you what. I, it's working now, yeah, I think. Okay. Uh, no, you can you can teach this dog a new trick or two. I I definitely am willing to take constructive criticism. I will take the criticism. I'll let it roll around up in here because, you know, there's not much stopping it. Uh, but, yeah. I, uh, I can be taught a trick or two. And I can teach a few. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Boy, I tell you what. I'm, I'm glad you guys are here joining me tonight. It'd be boring without you. You know, it, it, yeah, I got a new haircut. Great cap. But, you know, the shirt, it ain't ironed. But, I actually, actually, I got looking at it. You know, I want to be like Mike, I guess. It all fancied up. Oh. No, this is actually a work shirt. So, uh, Penny, I don't know what we're cooking tonight. I don't know. I think we're going to fend for ourselves. I know there's a Taco John's up the street. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Actually, a Godfather. Hey, thank you. Oh, a God. Mike says. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. No, I do not do laundry in a bucket. I go to I go to the laundromat. Uh, actually, I have done it in a bucket before. Nah, I can't do spam tacos because I don't have any spam left. But <laughs> that, I suppose that would make a heck of a. Nice little burrito there, I guess. Uh, Mr. Nishka, you know I asked Mike about that wishy-washy, and he didn't—he didn't want me to take it off the camper. I think he's scared. Nah, we just didn't have time. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah, Mike is a spam. Uh, yeah, that's right, Jimmy. I'll tell you what. I, peppered spam yeah that's good spam pizza I've never tried that no Rudy I uh, no new games lately I uh, believe it or not last week okay all right Martin a prepper I'm sorry I thought it said pepper see where the hell's them glasses at 200 cans of spam Last a month. Is it, uh, yeah, Mike says that all last him a month. All different kinds of spam, right? I mean, they got teriyaki spam, peppered spam, honey spam, all uh, regular spam, spam light. Now I'm sounding like uh, that guy off of Forrest Gump. Rudy, the, my boy's wedding was okay. Uh, I actually missed the wedding. Are you serious? Somebody is attempting to call me. So I will reject this and call him back. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Jimmy, there's all kinds of spam. Anyway, what was I talking about before I got that phone call? Uh, yeah, they call them spamages. All right, Rambler Uh, not sure, Penny. Uh, anyway, the wedding. That's right, Sherry. Uh, the car overheated. My truck overheated on me. Julie Tooley, hello. How are you? <laughs> yeah, my, this darn phone here is crazy. Because it's all, all I use. Anyways, that's that's cute there, Rambler Uh 
you need to try that Marilyn Monroe. The span's not too not too good, not too bad. Uh, Gwade for Tina, yes. Yeah, she said you were heading that way. Well, Jeremiah, hello. I'm glad you joined me. Uh, you just subbed. I appreciate that. It's going to be a fun ride. Uh, you, can you get that, uh, what Jimmy just said about that potato salad? Yeah, Mike, yeah, I'll try to do that. I love me some potato salad. Yeah, Martin, <laughs> move that air conditioner. All right, yeah, I'll just jump in the car and go right there. Um, okay, the wedding. The truck overheated. The wedding was at 3 o'clock, and I didn't get there until 4.35 o'clock. So I missed the actual wedding. But it was kind of good in a way because my oldest son you know the one that got married his brother actually stood in for me and I tell you what that made this old man tear up because there I had two brothers that aren't very close that got close that day that's a great feeling for a dad so the wedding went great reception was okay and uh, he had good food there so I made it for that I made it for the reception <coughs> so anyway thanks for asking about that I appreciate that uh, yeah it's not scrolling again Mike oh uh, let's see let's see I'm not either. I haven't got any uh, there we go it yeah, it, it was good. It was good. You know, that's another thing that's kind of hard about being on the road is is uh, <laughs> Jimmy. I tell you what, I appreciate your your wit there. I'm glad you're here, brother. Uh, uh, it's family. Yeah, you you miss your family. And I miss my boys, but they're a phone call away. And they have their lives to leave now, live now. And so they're getting older and getting married and making me a grandpa. And that's just life. So, anyway. We, uh, I don't think there was anything else that I missed as far as answering, is there? I, uh. I think I touched base on things. Uh, let's see, let's see. Still just say, I gotta take a little drink of this here. And yes, it's just pop. Little Mountain Dew. Uh, your sixth grandbaby? No way, Eileen. You don't look a day over 35. I don't know why you're trying to lie to me. <laughs> uh, John, not sure about the next location. Uh, Where the truck stop? <laughs> I think it's probably... Yeah, I'm not sure. We're looking at some uh, free campsites down the road. So it'll be in Nebraska somewhere because, you know, we don't like to go very good. But yeah, Jimmy, I'll tell you, I made some chicken fried steak here. What? Uh, me too, Jimmy. Your oldest is seven? Yeah, yep, Ramblin' Rome, you're right. Uh, and 50 is the next, they're the, 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 the new 35, right? That's, that's what I like to say. I just made that chicken fried steak a couple weeks ago. Mike, where were you? A couple weeks ago, I was in Montana. Yeah, that's right. The chicken fried steak. And, uh, well, Alan, I'll tell you what. Thank you. But, yeah, you get out here. No, that's not Tennessee Mountain Dew. 
back, wasn't it? I'll tell you. <laughs> I wish it was. That had the real sugar in it, didn't it? No. <laughs> oh, good job, Rudy. Yeah. Good job. Uh, that's right. Got to double dip it in the egg wash. Makes it nice and crispy. Of course, I flour it. Some people use uh, crackers, but I just use flour this time. Cooks a little bit quicker. And I didn't have the rolling pin to do the crackers. So. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, that's right. See, I have seasoned flour. That works. That's how, we, that's how my mom used to do it. I just use salt and pepper is all. Uh, chicken fried spam. Okay, Nomadic Pioneer, that would work. Watch that spam video I did here a couple weeks back. I made spam fries, and they were good. Oh, let's see. You're still in Lake Havasu. Now that has to be uh, that has to be warm, warm there, Gypsy Soul. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that has to be warm. <laughs> you need to get by the water. Yeah. Well, that's me get up there by the coast and it'll uh it'll cool you off a little bit yeah i'm not scrolling again so oh where in nebraska are we right close to valentine claudia yep nice little park outside there and nebraska is very rv friendly jimmy that's right let's see we got kansas city no no we aren't far from here we're not far from there no kansas city uh you know i like you know nebraska south dakota they're all rv friendly i'm getting bit up guys i'm sorry i'm scratching here we uh the uh mike found this place I'm not sure if it was on freecampsite.net or what. Actually, Carolyn found this one. Oh, Carolyn found Carolyn this found one. Carolyn found this one. You found the last one. Carolyn found this one. Okay. You know, I just follow along at a very slow pace because they go a little bit faster than me. Uh, well, you know what, Ramblin' Road? Yeah, you are going up to that beet harvest. You might just pass us. Uh, nomadic pioneer yes I did get rid of the fleas I sleep very good uh, no I didn't use the hot shot bombs I just sprayed the heck out of it and then cleaned and I cleaned with that vinegar that somebody told me about I was like I said I went to war it was a battle but those little suckers didn't have a chance now I'm getting bit up outside from the uh, skeeters I guess I didn't spray enough it would help if I had the door closed to the clam but I don't all right what do you mean I lost a lung penny they lose what do you mean lost oh yeah yeah when I was spraying you're right <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't very smart there. Yeah. But anyways, I won't make that mistake twice. Uh, the mosquito is a Michigan State bird. <laughs> well then, why, did, why don't you have them up there? They need to stay out of here. Oh yeah, I did ran the roam. I tell you, I cough so darn hard my side hurt for three days and uh, like I say I'll never make that mistake again oh let's see let's see anyway I'll give you a little quiz what was the first channel I talked about anybody remember Teardrop RV channel, RV travels. Neil, check him out. He uh, 
No, Rudy, I don't need a cigarette. Well, maybe I need or I want one, but I don't need one. We, uh, and the second channel I talked about was uh, Zen Quest Journey. Check her out. Very good, very good, guys. You get an A for today. Uh, what is that, Rudy? It's uh, Jiu-Jitsu is what he does. Is that right? Okay, John, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check out that Ramblin' Rome. I think you would like Zen Quest Journey. Uh, actually, you and her kind of remind me of, uh, of that. Oh, Camo Dave's live now, huh? Huh. I thought he just did that Saturday morning. I watched him today. Okay, that's right, Rudy. Yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's pretty good. I, w I wouldn't want to do that with him. Any man that can do that with no legs? Yeah, that's craziness. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, uh, Ramblin' Rome, I was saying uh, you and Tina are a lot alike. So I think, I think you'd like her channel. So... And when you get your channel going, I think uh, you just be yourself and it'll be a hit. <laughs> it is my lucky day. It is my lucky day, Eileen. I'll tell you what. Good to hear from you. We had a good time at that camp fest. It was an enjoyable get-together. And... Uh, I mean, Kevin did a good thing there. And hopefully he keeps it going. All right, John. I'll try. You have a good weekend, too. Thanks for stopping by, brother. And remember, Tuesday I'll do cooking. I don't know what I'm going to cook. I'll do eating. <laughs> yeah. Mike says he'll do eating. <coughs> Well, thank you, Eileen. Uh, what is what is that? Scuffed road salt rash. I guess I don't get. I don't understand that one. That's right, Rambler Rome. Lifelong friends. Rudy, always very kind. That Rudy. You got Mike going now. He says it's always beer thirty to him. It's always so. Yeah. Y'all know I don't drink much, so. I drink your shit. Yeah, Mike drinks mine for me. Excuse me. Yeah, Janice, that's cool. Uh, hopefully she gets her channel going. She's a nice lady. Uh, I just, like I said, I just met her at the uh, camp fest. So, nice lady, full of wisdom and wit. Lavender lotion there, Nomadic Pioneer. All right. And no, uh, Marilyn, I don't make popcorn much because, you know, uh, I'm not sure how that works, Penny. Yeah, I think he has to subscribe. Uh, just, well, actually, she just got to find a channel. I don't think she has to subscribe. Just have her look under the mobile traveler. Uh, spell it right, so on and so forth. And uh, she should be able to get on. Uh... Rudy, what we do for fun is is we play wishy-washy, we take walks, we sit around and, and BS. Watch other videos. Uh, we watch other people's videos. Last night, I'll tell you what, we watched Little League World Series, and it was one heck of a game. Georgia-Hawaii. It was uh, Georgia versus Hawaii. 11 innings. It went 11 innings, and... It was the bottom of the 11th, and they only had five minutes to play. 
and kid from Hawaii walked up and hit a home run and won the game with that the score was one to nothing no was it two nothing oh there was a man on okay I'm sorry anyway it was a good game so <laughs> uh, yeah Hawaii won there keto it was a good game uh, it, it was very I haven't watched Little League World Series since uh, gosh I think it was the 80s when my cousin was playing yeah it was that long ago uh, okay Penny did it work yeah Rossi Poo makes popcorn you know I don't uh, like I say I don't do the popcorn just because of the teeth uh, <laughs> truthfully I got one tooth on the bottom it's kind of tough to eat popcorn yeah I got false teeth but I never wear them they don't quite fit right and I do like popcorn but and Ross's popcorn is pretty good he uses bacon grease like I do matter of fact he still owes me a bunch of it I'll get him type of thing where he wants to borrow it and he never brings it back <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah Tina I'll tell you what this little league the, the games are good and they have fun in them coaches all oh, those coaches are just great <laughs> all right <laughs> I was just looking at some of the the, the past uh, comments uh, Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about there, Jay. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we watch TV on the internet, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I don't have, actually have a TV. I just watch the, the phone. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Rudy. Yeah, I probably ran the road. I do, but it's kind of tough when you don't have a computer. You just use your telephone. But that's all right. Uh, yeah, I got a post office box, Jimmy. It's up in uh, South Dakota. That's what I... Let's see. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Eileen. We'll get her all set up there, Rudy. We will. That's right, Janice. I checked out your channel and I listened to your music. By God, it didn't sound too darn bad. <laughs> yep, didn't sound too bad at all. Um, there you go, Keto. Thank you. Um, you know that's just one thing. You just gotta. Uh, yeah, it's like water off a duck's butt. You can't do nothing, so you just gotta let it roll off. You know, you just got to let it go. Not a big deal. Anyways, what was we talking about? Thumb wrestling? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not sure, Jimmy. Uh, with my travels you know I hate to say it but I think I may need to get a different camper you know this 1972 is uh, yeah, it's starting to fall apart but I don't it's me you know it's my son's camper so I have a hard time thinking about getting rid of it hey I thought about putting it on a flatbed trailer and pulling it that way I could sturdy it up a lot if I did that 
yeah like Mike said it's 46 years old things wear out anyway Jimmy that's probably yeah thank you for asking that I it gets me thinking about it yeah there you go Rudy well there you are that just please didn't win Tina how dare you <laughs> Uh, the Arctic Fox truck camper. How heavy is that, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, Tina, I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't answer that phone call. I was on a live stream when you just called. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Have to call you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Uh, anyway, the Arctic Fox is pretty. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. I tell you, I three thousand six hundred eighty-five pounds. Wow. How heavy do you think mine is, Mike? This? Yeah. The whole rig? No, just the camper. Oh, I have no idea. I wouldn't even hazard a guess. I'll have to look up what mine is. It's got to be. It's probably lighter than that one. I'd guess mine's only about maybe 2,500 dry. I don't know, but mine is metal. I don't know. Uh, well, if your dually can carry 5,300, yeah, I understood what you meant there, Tina. I understood what you meant. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that was an old uh, Torino there, Mike. That was making all that racket, yeah, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ford Torino. Uh, a pop up? Yes, they are lighter. All right, Tina. Talk to you later. Be careful. Uh, you travel light there, Jimmy? Yeah. I uh, <laughs> I don't. <coughs> I don't think it says anywhere on that camper how much it weighs there, Mike. I looked at all the plates in the back and there was nothing there. Anyways, um, uh, talking about a pop-up, I actually saw a uh, one of them uh, pop-ups, the A-frame. I actually saw a used A-frame that I wouldn't mind having. All right, all right, Ramblin' Rome. It's good to see you. And we will talk to you later. That buffering, yeah, that would bother me too. But like I say, thanks for stopping there, young lady. Yeah, Jimmy, this A, this A frame was an older one. It was smaller. And I know my truck wouldn't have a hard time at all pulling it. But it, uh, yeah, I don't. I've, I've even looked it up online. I couldn't see how much it weighed, Mike. Yeah, it, it, where Ramblin' Rome was at there, Jimmy. She's by a lake, and it's just not good service there. So, that's what, that's what happens every now and then when you're doing YouTube. Yeah, thank you, Ramblin' Rome. Uh... Uh, they couldn't fill it. Uh, yeah, if your gas tank is rusted, I would replace that there, Nomadic Pioneer. It wouldn't take it wouldn't take much to replace. Uh, okay, so you got a you got the a truck camper, Jimmy, and a fifth wheel. And you can carry 5,300 or tow 15. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, if I had my druthers, I'd probably go with the fifth wheel. Nah, who am I kidding? I like the truck camper. You know, because you can get to places where the fifth wheel won't be able to go. So. <laughs> Uh, 
what battalion did you fight in Vietnam? Wow. You know, I guess I didn't go. I was still in uh, junior high school. And I was in the Navy. So, thanks for the question. Uh, Sherry, truck, camper, or van? Ooh. No, nope, not a draft dodger there, Jay. Sorry. I was in the United States Navy after I graduated from high school. So, not a draft dodger. Uh, that's one thing that does kind of anger me right now but that's okay I'm over it anyway uh, truck camper or van uh, I can stand up in a truck camper of course in a van if it's a high top you can stand up uh -huh. no somebody asked me a question truck camper or yeah, van would. yeah or she feels comfortable driving uh, yeah, like Mike says, which one do you feel more comfortable driving? Uh, the good thing is, a truck camper, you can drop, and then you'll have your truck. It is kind of a pain in the butt to drop sometimes. But, uh... Thank you, Rudy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rudy. Uh... Truck camper, still truck camper. Yep, that's what I'd go with, personally. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Jimmy. That, that those fifth wheels are pretty nice. Even the older ones are nice. Limited where you can go. Though. Yeah, you, you. It does. It, it what in the the fifth wheel? Yeah. Yeah, it does limit you. Can't go to some of the places we go. Uh, we go to some pretty out of the way places, and you ain't gonna get that fifth wheel in there. Uh, like Wet Beaver Creek. That would have been a tough haul unless it was a, a short fifth wheel. And you wouldn't want to take anything really nice up some of these roads anyway, because that trailer will get beat up. Uh, yeah, I'm not scrolling again. Can't go to Glacier National with a 30 footer. Uh, 30 foot. Yeah, you can't go to Glacier National. Mike right, said it's it's, it's too big. Maximum length would be uh, 21 feet. Yep. Yeah. A lot of places won't let you get in there when you get you know you got your 30 foot fifth wheel. Of the switchbacks. And then you got your truck, and the switchbacks going up the mountains and stuff, it won't happen. So, that's where you find out the rules and stuff and decide whether you're going to take the fifth wheel or take the uh, truck camper. Let's see, Sherry. Let's see. Okay. You have an F-250 4x4 Super Duty. Yeah, that's a great truck. Uh, if I had that truck, I would not stick with the truck camper. I really would. Because then, like I say, you can drop your truck camper at your campsite and you can take your truck into town or do whatever and it depends on what kind of truck camper you got you've got uh, uh, power winches on it yeah that's cake there uh, let's see the name of the guy with the rhino line 4x4 I don't know Ruby Rudy I'll get on there Jimmy and I'll take a look yeah I'll take a I'll take a look at it Nomadic RV. Well, good day there, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, that's that's right, Jimmy. That's that's what we would do. Yeah, they do rock. They rock back and forth on left roads. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. <laughs> Mike's being funny. Jimmy, you said truck campers rock. He said, yeah, they rock back and forth on a bumpy road. Yeah, he just, you know, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't see this this name on this other one, but hello. Uh, huh? I can't read it either. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, I'll tell you. I want a winch too. Uh, that would uh, that would really help. 
Thank you for joining us there, Marilyn Monroe, and you are very welcome. We will see you another day. Anyway, we're at an hour right now. So, any other questions there, people? I could talk till I'm blue in the face, but I think it's about time for some uh, for yeah. some supper. <laughs> yeah, or dinner, or, or, whatever. or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's time to get our feet on. So, we're going to end this here, unless you guys got another question for me real quick. I uh, definitely appreciate it, you guys joining me. I love Saturday nights, because I just get to talk and ramble, and yeah, it's just like hanging out with friends. So, let's see. Yeah, Sherry, you have a great night. Um, Y'all drive safe out there. Hit that like button before you leave. Travel on. Don't uh, don't take any wooden nickels. I think if you're over 50, you've heard that comment before. And don't forget, you all love one another if you can. If you can't, you know what to do. It's Randy. Till next time. That's right. Good night, guys.